Hey everybody, welcome aboard, Captain Mike here. Today we're going to take a look at the installation of Device Interface Manager version 2. Now you should have two files already. If not, the links for these two files are down below in the description. You're going to need Device Interface Manager, the Win Setup EXE file, and you're going to need the uh, Net Framework Pro, uh, file from uh, Microsoft, the .NET, and at least 8.03, uh, the 8.0303 file, and a link for that's also down below. So you're going to install these two programs from the very beginning, reboot your computer, and then we're going to pick it up from there. Okay, next, if you own the PMDG 737 aircraft, whether it's the 67 or 800 series, or the PMDG 777, you're going to have to enable broadcasting. Now, as you can see on this sheet, now it depends on whether you have the Game Pass version or the Steam version. What you want to do is locate the uh, work folder for the PMDG 737 aircraft. And you're looking for the 737 underscore options dot INI file. And you're going to open that up with a text editor. And at the very bottom, you're going to add the SDK data. Now you can see it says SDK enable data broadcast equals 1. Enable CDU broadcast 0 equals 1. And then enable CDU broadcast 1 equals 1. Now depending on whether you have 1 CDU or 2 CDU, you're going to set that up accordingly as you can see on the text. But those four lines will get added to the very bottom of your 737 underscore options INI file. And that will enable broadcasting so that Device Interface Manager can talk to your CDU screens. Now once the installation of Device Interface Manager is complete, there are two locations that you're going to want to become familiar with. One is where your custom profiles are going to be. And as you can see, the link that's on your screen Mine is in C colon backslash uses server. Now that server name is going to be different depending on what your computer name is. So that's going to change to your computer name and then just follow along with the rest of the, uh, the path. App data roaming device interface manager profiles and that's where your custom profiles are going to reside. The program files are shown below that in C colon backslash uses. For me again it's server. For you it's going to be your computer name and then app data local device interface manager and then where the current device interface manager program resides. So these are two locations that uh, you really should become familiar with um, especially when you start working with uh, custom profiles. Alright let's go take a look at device interface manager 2.0 now when you load up PMDG, you're going to be presented with this home screen. And as you can see on the left hand side, it shows devices and there's 16 in here. And if I pull this down, you can see all my devices in here that are connected to the computer. And on the right hand side, these are all the profiles that I already have created. But nothing is set up in here. I took everything out so I can show you how it's done. Before we do that though, we're going to come down into settings. And application, I'm just going to set it up so it automatically does the updates. I mean, I can manually check here for updates if I want to, but that's the way I have mine set up and that's it. Um, drivers, you want to come in here and set up the drivers depending on what you're using. I'm using um, Flight Deck Solutions um, USB connectors for my controller boards. But if you're using the uh, Ethernet series, then you're going to have to put in the port and whatnot. Now you can see CP Flight is in here as well, HUD. This is all in the works. But I use the Flight Deck Solutions USB uh, connection. So that's why I have that set up in here. And that's pretty much it. SIM Connect is not set up just yet. But you would put in your IP address of where you want the connection to go. Eventually this is going to change for me once I have my uh, CDU screens working over the network. But this isn't set up just yet. But for testing purposes right now, you really just need to come in here and get your drivers set up depending on what you're using. So now we'll come back to the home page here and we will take a look at all my devices. Now since we worked on broadcasting, we're going to set up the CDU. So the first thing we want to do is come in here and click on add. And you see it just added a box down here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to find my CDU, which is right here, the second one down. I'm going to left click on it 
and we're going to drag it over and you'll see it only going to fit in one spot see how that little ghostbuster sign disappears only fits in one spot where your devices are and then we're just going to release that button and it just put it in place now for the profile we're going to come over here and take a look at the profiles now i'm not sure if it's captain or first officer right now so we're going to do this by trial and error I'm going to right click on here and you can see we have that Ghostbusters sign again and it's not going to go anywhere except under where it belongs in profiles. So we're going to right, you know, hold the right mouse button down so we can drag it, bring it into position and let it go. That's now in place. Now if we want to go and check this, we can go into the devices and come into and click on FSCDU. We can take a look at our LEDs let's take a look I don't know if you'll be able to do that let me go to output here and if I put all my LEDs on on my CDU in the flight deck they just turned on and we're gonna turn them off and we can also check the input with the switches now this you'll be able to see as I start doing stuff now as I press buttons you'll see they begin to light up and they light up because each one of these button numbers are associated with what I have set up inside device interface manager and if you have a profile that's already been created this is going to be done for you but this is where you can do your testing for your input and your output and make sure that it works now back in the home page once this is loaded like this and if we want to go do some testing all you'll have to do is have MS 2020 up and running and then press that play button and you'll be able to get that up and running now if we want to add a second device to this all we have to do is click on add we'll add our next CDU which is all the way down here we're gonna right click on that drag it over into the box here release that right button come down and look for our other CDU which is here right click drag it bring it up drop it and these two CDUs are now loaded we can come in here and check the other one as well if we check here come into this device we can go to input and if I start pressing buttons you're gonna start seeing them set up same thing with the output if I go to output analog if I slide this up all the buttons on my CDU are gonna light up and for here this is gonna turn on all the LEDs that are set up with the 737 um, CG, uh, CDU file that's it that's pretty much it. Once uh, MS 2020 is up and running, you're going to come back to your home page, click Run, or this little start arrow here, and any of the profiles that are set up here are going to start running with MS 2020. So that's basically how you set all that up. I'm not going to get into setting up switches and buttons and dials and uh, illuminating uh, LEDs just yet a little more in-depth but this is going to get your devices connected up and running and set up with MS 2020 if a profile is already set up for you anyway I hope this helps uh, for the installation next I'll move on to setting up button switches dials indicator lights and whatnot and we'll go through the forward overhead the aft overhead the MIP and so on and so forth as time goes by as you no know, time permitting for me to get this done all right everybody I hope this helps you out and I'll catch you on my next uh, run, everybody. Take care.